Greetings, welcome to another episode of Growing Your Own Food. This is a pineapple I have that I bought from the store. And I was just picking the seeds out and I wanted to show you how I was harvesting them. You're you're okay. Um, so I'm, I'm putting them on a paper towel. This is the outside of the pineapple. And I have another one to cut, so you got to give me a second. Hold on. So, so for those of you who haven't seen pineapple seeds, because it was a while before I seen some myself, let me show you how. Oh, let's do this. Let me switch hands and uh, show you how I was. Where they are? See, they come out. I put them on a paper towel. Oh yeah, mama. And you gotta you gotta be patient with me. This is my left hand, you know. I'm good, but I you know I ain't you know a master yet, so I'm still working on it. Another seed. I cannot see nothing in here, You be quiet. Okay. Shush. 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 Uh, but anyway, you get the picture of the Shush. pineapple seeds. I'm, I'm over here struggling with the left hand. <laughs> Alright. And of course, I'm going to harvest the top. So give me a second. Okie dokie. So I'm going to harvest this pineapple top. And I kind of wanted to show it from the beginning. But also remember, I'm the one hand bandit. So I'm going to have to stop, start, stop, stop. Okay, so this is it after I've pulled the, you know, the ring from around this part here. And now I'm going to begin to peel these back. Okay, and I'm going to see here. Get this. All right, hold on. So, okay, we're back. I peeled down a good amount of the leaves. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. I don't like to cut it off before I see the rest of the plant because sometimes some of the pineapples, I'm trying to get it in resolution. Some of the pineapples, the um, part where the little stubs come out, sometimes they are starting here. Or sometimes when you do peel the leaves down, you get like a flush um area instead of yes yeah, stop spitting instead of like a bump right here now I'm gonna try to bring it closer so it can get in focus cuz I want to show you something sorry okay stop spitting stop spitting oh there we go see this is what you're looking for. You're looking for these little nubs right here. You see that right there? Right there. Right there. Those are where your roots are going to come out. On some pineapples better than others, you may see the spots like even right there. That little white nodule is a possible root even right here where my finger is touching right there you see it is a possible root and I see in this pineapple a lot of the possible roots that are going to come out is kind of right in the bump so I'm going to take this part off and then I'm going to give it a slight shave around just to help stimulate the roots to go ahead and um, come on out because I found that when I do that they uh, immediately respond now I haven't had success with every last pineapple you know sometimes you have a dud but when I do do the shaving I do have a like a 80 to 90 percent better uh, result of them you know um, getting roots and sprouting than I did the other way so hold on okay now as you can see I have shaved it and each where and I'm sorry each where anywhere any each 
little hole, a little spot that you see, that's a possible root. And that's why I give it the little shave to help them encourage them to come on out. Because sometimes when you leave that little ripple in, they have a hard time penetrating. So I just give them a light, a light shave. You can even still see the ripples, you know. You don't, um, it doesn't have to be deep. Because as a matter of fact, if you do it too deeply, it may uh, hinder the plant instead of help the plant. So it's just a light gentle shave. And that, and that bottom piece is very easy to come off. You know, don't don't strain yourself doing it. I wish I could show you, but I'm I'm a, I'm a one hand bandit right now. <laughs> so um, also, hold on. No waste. So all of the, even the tops that I peeled back, I'm gonna take them, and um, you guys don't know yet, but I got me a a free garden cl uh, clock. <laughs> a free garden plot at my community garden center so you know what I'm saying I'm going to use this the pineapple uh, so called uh, remains or whatever you want to call it we're going to use this to help build the soil and add uh, nutrients to the soil so no waste and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that so stay tuned peace yeah, and these are all of the seeds that I collected from. I actually had two pineapples. So, these are the seeds that I could find out the two. And um, I'm going to let them dry a little bit while I get finished chopping up my wonderful pineapple here. That is so delicious and sweet. Mm. Yeah. So, until next time. Peace. Yeah, so you know I'm always upcycling. I wanted to show you what I put my pineapple tops in. Which is just basically the bottom half of an water bottle and it happened to rain last night very very good because the cold front is coming through so i just went outside and scooped some water up out of one of the little um pails that i had my um lemongrass plant in because it has some extra water and i'm just using that because you know that's better than anything that could come out my faucet or out of a water bottle anyway so all right i wanted to show y'all that so this just basically we then we wait for them to get roots and then we put them in the ground period so, until next time, peace.